Problem 13. How many positive integers can fill the blank in the sentence below? One positive integer is blank more than twice the other, and the sum of the two numbers is 28. All right, always suppose unknown information. Let's, suffer, let's suppose that the first number right, is equal to x. Let's suppose that the second number is equal to y. You can call it a and b, c and d. I really don't care. I just do x and y for convenience. So let's say the one positive integer is x. x is blank. Well, blank is not really helpful, so let's call this n. Is n more than twice the other? So n more than twice the other, well, the other one would be y. And the sum of the two numbers, x plus y, is equal to 28. Well, wait a minute. This is obviously a substitution question, so let's substitute x into this into this equation. We get 3y plus n is equal to 28. And we're basically just trying to find how many possible values of n are there. Well, obviously, right, we know that um, x is n plus 2y, so x is obviously larger. So then that must mean that this n, right, cannot, 3y plus n cannot exceed 28, because if that's the case, then x will no longer satisfy the given scenario. But we're trying to solve for n, so n is equal to 28 minus 3y. Now, this must be greater than 0, right, because you cannot be it's 0 more, that wouldn't make sense. But at the same time, this cannot be negative, because if, it, it's, if it's negative, right, then it doesn't make sense to say it's n more. That would be like n less. So in other words, 28 minus 3y is larger than 0, and this number cannot exceed, um, or 3y here cannot exceed 28. So 3y, negative 3y, is larger than negative 28. So that means y is less than 28 divided by 3. And what is that? Well, 28 divided by 3, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So if we increase the numerator, then this quantity right here will be a little over 9. So like 9.0 something, I don't know. And that's just a guess. But nonetheless, this is a number that's slightly larger than 9. So in other words, y is less than equal to 9. Because if we plug it back in, 28 minus 27, that's equal to 1. What about 28 minus 30? Wait a minute, that's equal to negative 2. That doesn't make sense. That's 2 less, not 2 more. So y, y's max has to be 9. At the same time, it cannot be 0. Because, or it could be, or uh, could it be 0 actually? Well, it can't, because that means it will be 0 more. And it cannot be 0 more, that doesn't make any sense, so it has to be larger than or equal to 1. So 9 minus 1 plus 1 gives you 9. That's 9 total terms. That answer choice is answer choice D.